okay I think I fixed it have I fixed it ladies I think I have <laughs> can just let me know if you've got the sound I've got my microphone and it seems to be working so just let me know if there is sound I'm just waiting to see if fixed yay thumbs up <laughs> I don't know why it does it to me it's I think it's something to do when my um, OBS my online broadcasting system doesn't update so hopefully there'll be captions at the beginning so people won't think I'm just talking to myself <laughs> okay let's go back <laughs> this is the kit we're looking at today um, no, let's go right back <laughs> okay these two catalogues are retiring at the end of April and the last chance products lists are out so there's lots of things that are selling out so if you want anything from these two catalogues I suggest you buy it sooner rather than later um, yes yeah, so just go to my stampingpassion.blogspot.com and you can go over to the right hand side there's an April postcode image you can click on that or you can click on the stamping up logo you still don't have any sound Margaret I'm not sure why because my microphone seems to be working now hmm Margaret's Marilyn's Margaret's got sound but you don't have Marilyn just refresh and see if that helps okay I'll keep going because I think it's hi Joan Joan can you tell me if you've got sound because ha I'm having a few technical issues and that's not what you want <laughs> so I'll just wait and see if Joan has got sound and we'll see how we're going yeah as I said I think it's got something to do when my OBS does an, up an update and it just sort of throws all my settings out of whack so I'll just wait and see if Joan's got sound and then I shall keep going otherwise maybe I should just start all over again oh you can hear me okay all right so uh, Margaret and Joan can hear me so maybe I'll just keep going okay because I've got my microphone it's I can see it's working so got to do all these checks before I start in future I just get thrown when some things don't work anyway these two have got the retiring end of April the last chance product lists are out things are selling out so if you want anything get it now rather than later because you might miss out okay all right so we're going to be playing with um, a new kit that was released at the beginning of April it's called buy your side kit and you can see why I got this it's all about our pets so it's if you don't yeah yeah log out and log back in Marilyn if you can't get the sound because it, it seems to be working now so it's got doggies and it's got cats so it was a must-have in my in my eyes um, and it makes eight cards two of each design and you've got things left over um, that you can use on other cards or scrapbook pages so I made oh let me show you what is in the kit so you get an ink spot yay <laughs> sorry about that little hiccup Marilyn you get an ink spot this is an old olive ink spot in a kit when it's got a stamp set in it you always get an ink spot so um, old olive and let me just see whether I'm just checking everything seems to be going okay <laughs> um, so you've got an ink spot so if you don't have like your normal ink pads you'll get the one that will con that's definitely yes it is definitely me um, you will get one that will co coordinate with your kit um, I tend not to use these I put them in my little box that um, I give out as freebies to um, customers at launches and stuff because I've got the proper big ink pad so you'll get a block and you get some of these 
um, gold heart bling so you always get like a D size block in a kit you get a little stamp set which is pretty cute and I did struggle to work out which paw was for which animal <laughs> um, but I worked it out and you get dimensionals and you get the makings of eight cards and you have a few things left over so you get the envelopes so let's pull out our envelopes these are the envelopes there was four of each style and you get the cards so I think before I worked out the sound um, I did say the price of the kit it's $39 and you might get the makings of eight cards with some left over so I'll pull those out these are the bits and pieces you need and look at these cutie pies <laughs> look at them aren't they cute <laughs> and you get four of these sheets I've already used one sheet up but you really only need two of the sheets so you've got leftovers so that's good and you get some of these little um, sentiment tags you get enough to make your cards and also enough if you stuff up <laughs> like I did on this one I don't know what happened there but it wasn't good so I'll put that aside okay so let's pull out one of those I think I've got everything else cut popped out got a sentiment and I'll show you the four cards I made and I just did it purely by um, the instructions the card kit instructions okay so you've got this little one and you've got a little circle on your envelope that you can stamp a paw so cute and then you've got this little one once again a little circle on your envelope and little bones I put the bones on this that you can stamp um, the paw on so let's put those there and then you've got these two the pussycats aren't they cute they're so adorable and that's a different paw you can see the slightly different and you've got little fish for the pussycat so I thought we'd make the other four up and just I can show you how simple they are now Marilyn you asked this morning um, there was no photo of Rosie in my walk at Terrigal and I commented back and said Rosie doesn't really um, cooperate with having her photo taken she's very you know like no I won't have my photo taken I will show you this photo this was on my daughter's wedding day and um, this is the only time she's ever cooperated which was probably really good because it made for a perfect um, photo I'm just gonna find the other one she actually blocked Olivia coming down the staircase at home as they were you know she was all ready and coming down the staircase she actually blocked her on the staircase and I'd bought this little crown of silk roses for her <laughs> and I threw it up the stairs to Olivia and she put it on her head anyway she sat there with Olivia for 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes she would not let her down the stairs and they just had a moment and so these were actually printed off the photographers um, photos so yeah so there she is on on the wedding day and yeah she had a moment with Olivia and wouldn't let her down the stairs and this is the only photo that she's ever 100% cooperated with the photographer <laughs> so it's a pretty special photo I love that photo <laughs> okay so let's get our things in just once again all right so we've got our card kit instructions so when you've got a kit you always have the instructions that tell you how to make the cards step by step even to the point of where to put your dimensionals on the back here so it's pretty cool they're really cool instructions so let's keep that up there 
and we will get let's do two the two dog cards first of course <laughs> and so that's that one and we need Fred Bassett as I call him we need Fred Bassett and we need this little piece and we've got to pop these hearts out these have got some little hearts pre-cut so you can pop those out you can use them in a shaker card or something else okay so he's gonna go on top of that we've got a banner for the sentiment now let's get the other doggy card and I'm doing it like this so that we don't have to um um, 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 what am I trying to say? We don't have to change the paw. Because <laughs> I would hate to put the wrong paw and offend somebody. Okay, this is the other thing for this card. It's just a circle die cut it pops out. So you've got circles that you can use on another card. And this actually, I put it on my first cards this way. But I think it's meant to go that way. So we'll do it that way this time. And that. And the banner. Okay. So let's find a... I'll put the pussycats over here. Let's find our little stamp set. And these are... I tend to just hang on to these blocks. So I've got so many of them now. Um, they're great if you want to take them away, but I do prefer my other blocks. Okay, so let's make this one. So this one first. So it says to use the stamp that says you make my heart happy, which you can, but all of the stamps fit on the banner. So there's no problem with that. So I've just got to get the right paw, and it's the one with the longer toes. <laughs> there we go. And um, what sentiment, guys? But thanks, Marilyn. As I said, that's the only day that she decided um, to cooperate. Okay, let's. I'm going to do you. No, I'll always be by your side. I'm going to do that one. Okay, so that's it. And here's my old olive ink pad. Okay, so we'll move. this is such an, this is so easy. So let's, we've got this one here. So it's telling me to put the paw on the card base, top right and bottom left. So I shall do that. Oh, have I got, no, I've got the right one. See, they're longer. <laughs> I don't suppose it really matters, but. I do like to try and do it correctly. Okay, so that's the little paw. And then we've got the dimensionals from the card kit. And it says to put them. It even tells you where to put the dimensionals on the instructions. Can you see that? It's got the little circles saying where to put them. I don't think that's showing up very well, but yeah, it tells you everything. It tells you lots. So these are great for beginners, great for a gift, great for teenagers, great if you're going away and you want to take some crafting with you. And... I'm just going to pop that like so on my card front. And then we've got this one. I'll put the dimensionals on it first. But I will stamp my sentiment. So everything's included in our card kits. Which makes it so easy for beginners. So I will just move that up. Make sure I've got... Okay, so where do I, I want to put it either, I'll put it over this way and then I can put the heart over here. There 
there we go and then we've got this these gold hearts which are adhesive so you just pull one off and put one there now he's got his little um dimensionals on him so i shall put these ones down here and i tend to put the banner on first because then um i can work out where i want to put my dog so i'm just going to put so I put these on the bottom and i'm just going to put them just hang off onto the card base I do love this kit, <laughs> you can tell. So I get the backs off, and I'm going to put that like so. And that's it, your card is made. So let me just clean off my paw. Oh no, I want to do the envelope before I clean off my paw. <laughs> okay. So I match these ones up because of the Calypso Coral card thing, um, card there. So I am just going to ink my paw up and stamp my paw here. And now I shall clean off my paw <laughs> because it's good to have clean paws. That's what I always tell Rosie. And, and I'm going to ink up my little doggy bone there's a little bone in the stamp set put two on the envelope and put two inside the card and if you wanted to add another sentiment in, for inside the card you've got four sentiments that you can do that with so I'll just make sure I've still got sound working for me and it's not being naughty yes okay so I'll clean off the bone. Okay, so that's your card. That's card. That's one card made. So simple and so easy. So we'll put that across over there. And we'll bring in the other doggy one. Now this one, I did have a thought that if you wanted to turn it into like a scrap little six by six scrapbook page, you could see get a photo of your dog. And put it on the scrapbook page so I'm going to keep that idea for one of the pages I'm scrapbooking of Olivia's wedding and do that but I'll make an, a bigger circle and but that's something you could do all for your cat so that's something to think about okay so we'll flip over oops flip over to these instructions and we've got to do the paw again. So where's the paw gone? And I've got to get the right paw, the correct paw. I'll leave my bone on the other side. Okay, so we want to put one over here. And that's that's all it's saying. You can see the instruction there. <laughs> that is cute, isn't it? Um, so yeah, and then on this one, now, I think on the other, my cards I made first, I did it this way, but I think it's meant to actually go this way. So we'll do it this way this time. And we need one in the top left and one in the bottom right. So as I said, these are great gifts. And for teenagers who might be into stamping, just really, really cool gifts. Really simple. And once again, where's my dimensionals? And if you're starting out on your stamping journey, <laughs> they're a great way to get started because you get a little block in the kit and you get a little ink cube and you get a little stamp set on the ones that have um, stamps in them. So I'm just going to pop that down like so. And then this one has to have some dimensionals on him. It won't stick him down until I've got my sentiment. Now I could do the same sentiment. Let me see what I did on my first card. I'll always be by your side. I did that one on my first card, so I might change my sentiment. And there we go. What's this one say? 
This one says best friends forever. I like that. Okay. Make sure that's straight, not straight. Let's just put that there. That's better. Ink it up and on our little banner. Now, yeah, I'll go I'll go over to the right hand side. There we go. And I shall pop my dimensionals down the bottom again. So I've kind of lost my mojo a bit, <laughs> which is a bit sad because I'm struggling to get inspired to do any creating. I think it's probably because I've been... Um, going through all my retired products, pulling it all off the shelf, taking photos of everything to put up on to Facebook groups. So that's been taking a lot of my time. So I think that's why I'm sort of lost my mojo a bit, going through all the retired stuff. There we go, card number two. Isn't it cute? <laughs> but I'm a bit of a sicko. <laughs> For um, these sorts of cards, these sorts of kits. So I shall get the envelope that matches, and I shall get the pull. And turn. And I love the way everything coordinates. It's really good. And the little doggy bone. I oh, will put some doggy bones inside the card. There we go. Aren't they cute? They're just so they're so adorable. <laughs> okay, so they're the two doggy ones. So we now got four like this, and now we shall do the pussy cats. Okay, we better change our our bone and our paw because we don't want that. So let's change our paw. So we go to this bone, uh, paw and the fish. The fish, the fish, the fish. Okay. All right. So we move that over there. Now we shall get the pussycat one. So we pop that out. I'll pop this out for the one after that. They are really cute, aren't they? We need a banner for that one. A banner for that one. We need that goes with that one, that goes with that one. Okay, and here's our cards. So we need this. Oops, this one first goes here, and then this one has got those ones. So we'll put those over here. So once again, it's just exactly the same. You've got the paw print, top right and bottom left. Oops, ink it up properly. Uh, is that the only plate yet? And then we can pop out the little hearts again. As I said, you could stick them on the inside of your card if you wanted to. Okay, let's stick this one on. So it really doesn't take long to put eight cards together. And lots of people love their pets. So you could give these to lots of different people. I think that's straight. <laughs> okay, so let's work out where we're going to put our <coughs> dimensionals on this one. So I'm really hoping my mojo returns <laughs> because, yeah, I'm struggling big time at the moment. <clears throat> I shall use the best friends forever because on the other one I did a different one. 
so I'll use that. So you can use whichever of the sentiments you like on the, the cards. You don't have to follow the instructions to that extent. <laughs> well, I don't. You've got to be a little bit of a rebel. Okay, so once again, I'm going to stick my sentiment on first because then I think that helps me place my pet. So... There we go. And then backings off the cats. So cute. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get the envelope that matches and my paw print. And this one's got a little fish. So has anybody placed orders for their um, retiring products or are you all just waiting for new products to come? There we go. That's the cat, cat one done. So cute. Okay, and this is the last one. So we'll flip over and I'll show you what you've got left over in the kit once you've, you've done it. So this is you pop the circle out and yeah. Okay, so... So let's do our paw print and if you don't want to do the paw print where they tell you to do it you don't have to you can be a rebel <laughs> I'm just following the instructions today because then I don't have to think okay okay let's pop our dimensionals on the back of this one So cute, love it. And there's lots of kits in the collect kits collection. So if you want to have a look and see what we've got, just go to my online store. And um, over on the left hand side, it says shop products. Waiting for the new products and catalog. Haven't you got your catalog yet, Margaret? I got mine this week. I think. I think it was this week. <laughs> Um, yeah, I tend not to buy retiring stuff. I have so much retiring stuff. I'm going to list it all very soon on one of those face, Facebook pages. Um, you make my heart happy. Let's do that. Okay, so I ink up my sentiment. Um, did I forgot to put an orange heart on uh, a gold heart on that one? I just looked over and thought, oh, silly me. Okay, so that's that. I can do some fixy fixy. Come back and do that. Okay, so this one's lying down, playing with a ball, a uh, ball of wool, and this one's going to go here. So I'm going to put my cent my dimensionals on the bottom of my sentiment. This one I'll pop up, but I will do the sentiment first because then I can place the putty cat. Oh, that's no good. Surely you'll have it soon. I think I got mine on Tuesday. I think. I can't remember. <laughs> it's a bit sad when you can't even remember a week, not even a week ago. Okay, so that one's going to go like so. Okay. Okay, so this one's going to go like kind of like so. Okay, now let's get our little gold hearts in and fix that. Fix up our boo boo from not putting it on the last one. So they're adhesive. Helps if you put it on straight. That's not Rosie, that's somebody else. <laughs> Rosie's in here. You don't need to contribute. You keep sleeping. Um, and I'll put this one down here. 
So there's our eight cards done. Let me close my ink pad up. Oh, no, no, no. I've got to do the envelope. So I've got my cat's paw, like so. And a fishy. And the fishies. How cool is this? Oh, she got hers on Monday. Oh, dear me. I don't know why that's happened to you. Okay, so we have... Oops. We have eight cards now made. Like so. And then there's this one. And this one <laughs> and as you can see I've put I've just changed the sentiments around a little bit so you've got eight cards now let me show you what's left over in your kit so you still got half a uh, sheet of dimensionals left over you still got your block that you can use for something else you've got some little gold love hearts that you can use for something else you've got your little stamp set that you can use again but look, there's two more, two more sheets ready and some little banners. So you've got all these left over to recreate other cards if you wish or a little scrapbook page. So that is the, what's it called, by your side kit. <laughs> and I just think it's so cool and you've got all these you've got four circles popped out that you can use on other cards you've got some love hearts that you can use on other cards they're all splayed about on my desk so so you can use that you can make them into a shaker card if you want to but yeah how cool isn't that just the greatest kit I love it love it to pieces Trying to put an ink pad there. So I hope you guys in, oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that now that we got the um the volume working. Let me see. <laughs> they are all cute, aren't they? Let me see if I can go back to face you. Are they? <laughs> um they are cute, aren't they? They're really cute. And you can see how quick and easy they come together. So as I said, they're great for a gift, they're great for first timers or beginners. Um, to get people started stamping so I, th I thought I'd just show you that kit because it's so cute so thanks for watching everybody I hope you all have a great weekend um, stay safe enjoy this beautiful weather while we have it not like last Friday oh my goodness that was just amazing enjoy the beautiful weather have a great weekend everybody and I'll see you on Monday for my makeup Monday bye for now